Hello and welcome you watching NDTV 24/7 I'm Osama Shab a top story Ajit Pawar has come out on top in the Pawar versus Pawar battle as far as the election commission is concerned the nationalist congress party name and symbol has been granted to the Ajit Pawar faction the panel went by the legislative uh, majority <laughs> concluding that most of the NCP MLAs are supporting Ajit so he gets the party name and symbol the election commission has asked Sharad Pawar to pick a new name for his party reacting to the election commission order ajit pawar said he hope that the maharashtra speaker now decides on the ncp issue soon sharad pawar faction has called it a murder of democracy and vowed to challenge the order legally bahut din hue beech mein apne maharashtra mein rajniti ke bare mein kuch ghatnaye hui uske bare mein aap sabko pata tha पता है और फिर ये सब मैटर इलेक्शन कमीशन के सामने गई इवन हमारे विधानसभा के स्पीकर उनके पास भी अलग तरह की एक मैटर चालू है उसका भी हेयरिंग हुआ है उसका भी रिजल्ट कब वो देने वाले है पता नहीं लेकिन जल्द से जल्द मिलने का ऐसा मैं आशा करता हूँ तो शिवसेना के साथ किया वही हमारे साथ आज हो रहा है तो कोई नया ऑर्डर नहीं वही सिर्फ नाम बदला है कंटेंट वही है आप देख रहे हैं हमारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स भी ठीक थे और फाउंडर मेंबर इस पार्टी का फाउंडर मेंबर और फाउंडर लीडर कौन रहा है तो एक ही नाम है उसका नाम है शरद पवार बच्चा बच्चा इस देश में कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी किसी से भी पूछो एन किसकी है तो शरद पवार का ही नाम लेगा ऐसा है कि जब इलेक्शन कमीशन के सामने हमारी हिरी हुई हमारी हमने पूरी बातें वहां रखी है पूरी बातें वहां रखी लेकिन ऐसा है कि दबाव के कारण अब किसका दबाव है आपको बोलने की जरूरत नहीं सब दुनिया जानती है दबाव के कारण ऊपर के दबाव के कारण इलेक्शन में इलेक्शन कमीशन ने ऐसा निर्णय लिया हम इसको सुप्रीम कोर्ट में चैलेंज करेंगे लार्जर थॉट प्रोसेस विद इन द पार्टी बिकॉज यू सी uh see mr pawar has uh, been a mentor no nobody is denying that nobody is denying the fact that he is the supreme leader of even maharashtra i would say because of his uh, long years his seniority and also his contribution to maharashtra so we don't want to get into that petty issues of you know just because we have separated to just go into a, sl- a slanging match against one versus the other some people have been uh, you know following that path but i think uh, nobody should take them seriously hamara dawa yahi tha ki bhousan ke agar party aur party ka karyakarta se leke vidhayak se leke sansad tak sabhi log agar party ke ek taraf hai to ye loktantra hai aur is loktantra ke aadhar pe ye sari cheeze election commission ke samne gayi aur aaj jo election commission ne nirnay diya hai us nirnay ka hum vinamrata purvak swagat karte hain aur हम यही कहते हैं कि आज का विजय ये लोकतंत्र का विजय है लोकशाही में मेजॉरिटी को महत्व होता है और मेजॉरिटी आज अजीत दादा पवार जी के पास है और इसीलिए चुनाव आयोग ने निर्णय मेरिट पे लिया हुआ है और लोकतंत्र में बहुमत फिर से एक बार सिद्ध हुआ है Uttarakhand is set to become first Indian state in independent India with a uniform civil code. It has been conceptualized as a set of laws that govern personal matters including marriage, divorce, adoption, inheritance and succession for all citizens regardless of religion. As per sources, the bill also proposes to ban polygamy and bring in restrictions on live-in relationships. The big question is will the Uttarakhand UCC bill be a template for the center and other states even as opposition sat on dharna inside uttarakhand vidhan sabha chief minister pushkar singh dhami introduced the bill aaj aaj pratiksha samapt ho rahi hai aur aaj devbhumi se saman nagrik sanhita lagu hone ki disha mein hum aap ke sadan mein isko prastut kar rahe hain जिस प्रकार से इसमें प्रावधान किए गए हैं बीजेपी क्लेम्स दैट द बिल इज अ प्रोग्रेसिव वन व्हिच ब्रिंग्स इन यूनिफॉर्मिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैरिज डिवोर्स लैंड प्रॉपर्टी एंड इनहेरिटेंस की प्रोविजंस इंक्लूड 
gender differences have been done away with. In UCC, daughter and son have been referred as a child and will get equal rights. Word illegitimate also has been erased and all children born out of wedlock would be referred as a child of the couple. Punishment with heavy fines have been introduced if women are treated as commodity by anyone. The bill also bans polygamy. For the first time, live-in relationships have been defined and would be registered. In case of an individual being below 21, then parents of both would have to be informed. Failure to submit live-in relationship declarations or providing false information could land one in jail for three months. A fine of rupees 25,000 or both. Anyone who fails to register a live-in relationship will face a maximum of six months in jail, be fined of rupees 25,000 or both. Even a delay in registration by as little as a month will trigger a jail term of up to three months, a fine of rupees 10,000 or both. Meanwhile, questions are being raised by opposition leaders about timing and how they were not consulted while draft consultations were taking place. As the House debated the bill, the opposition questioned the hurry and complained that MLAs were not given enough time to study the bill. What is the draft? What is the draft? We want to see that we get the time to get the time to get the time to get the time to get the time. Critics also say Uttarakhand is a test case for Bharatiya Janta Party and if implemented, many other states would follow. The UCC is only ideological agenda of Bharatiya Janta Party that remains unfinished. After the opening of the Ram Mandir and scrapping of Article 370 from Jammu and Kashmir. Uttarakhand has about 4% of tribal population and the fact that this community has been left outside the ambit of UCC is being questioned by many. In Dehradun, with my colleague Kishore Rawat and camera person Ashwani Mehra, this is Neeta Sharma reporting for NDTV. The Lok Sabha has passed the anti-cheating bill to check fraudulent practices such as leaking of exam papers in government recruitment exams. Congress said it supported the bill but added that larger measures are needed to get rid of corrupt practices in the education sector. The bill was welcomed by the students as well. Public examination prevention of unfair means 2024 will be passed. With an aim to ensure fairness in competitive exams, the centre has passed the anti-cheating bill in the Lok Sabha. Covering government recruitment exams, the bill promises strict penalties from 1 crore rupees fine up to 10 years of imprisonment. The center emphasized on the urgency of the issue. Paschim Bengal mein November 2022 mein diploma elementary education ka paper leak hota hai aur si pradar school service commission West Bengal ka bhi paper leak hota hai. December 2022 mein teacher recruitment scam Rajasthan mein paaya jata hai. और 2018 से लेकर के अब तक राजस्थान में इस प्रकार के 12 घोटाले हुए। This bill comes close on the heels of 41 cases of exam paper leaks in the last five years. Over 1.4 crore students have been impacted due to these cases. They were vying for one lakh posts at different levels. Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana and Uttarakhand are among states with most cases of recruitment exam paper leaks in this time period. The opposition agreed that it was an important bill but added that larger changes are needed. जिस तरह से अनिमित्ता हो रही है और irregular session हो रहा है, उसको पहले ठीक करने की जरूरत है। Higher education में सबसे बड़ा गड़बड़ी तो ये कि जिस तरह से शिक्षकों की कमी है, सब में 50 percent से ज़्यादा जगह खाली है। the Assam government too has tabled a similar bill in their assembly. As per the bill in Assam, state government will designate special courts for trial of paper leak cases. Bill proposes imprisonment of 5 to 10 years, fine of 10 lakh to 10 crore rupees as penalties. Once convicted under this new law, a person cannot appear in any public exams for two years. Institutions found guilty in malpractices can be banned forever. In 2022, Assam government had to enforce a mobile internet shutdown 
during Assam government's recruitment examination for few hours to ensure that no malpractices takes place. In recent past, there have been cases of paper leak and therefore, when this bill gets passed in the state legislative assembly, Assam would be one of the first state to bring strong legislation to check paper leaks and exam malpractices. Students across India have welcomed this move. I'm definitely very happy with the bill that is passed. I do look uh, very much look forward to the implementation. I'm glad that the, the state is taking the initiative, you know, to care about the future of the country. When competition needs to thrive, cheating needs to be curbed. Only then students will know the value of learning. I can't help but remember one of the famous dialogues from a Bollywood movie that is based on UPSC exams. Bahar ke andere se, andar ke andere se daro. With Ratnadeep and Harsha, Prati Baraman for NDTV. 11 people have been killed and over 200 others injured after a fire broke out inside a cracker factory in Madhya Pradesh's Harda. The flames triggered several explosions, sparking panic in the nearby areas. Three people, including factory owner, have been arrested. The massive blast in firecracker factory in Harda has uh, given 11 casualties and also 175 people have been injured in this uh, blast. Uh, as you can see right now, I am present at the place where this blast happened. This was a factory owned by Raju Agrawal and his colleague. Uh, they were running the factory without the license. That's the biggest question that how they were running the uh, factory without the license. Right now here the NDRF and the SDRF teams are present. Uh, still the fire is not... Uh, 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 has, uh, the, still the fire is there and as you can see all the debris is being cleared by the Pokhlin machines, the uh, JCB machines here so that they can find that are there uh, any bodies present under the debris that's why the debris has been cleared by the NDRF and the SDRF team right now as you can see fire and uh, also you can see the houses which were near the factory this factory was situated at the place between the city according to the rules and regulations you cannot uh, operate a factory uh, where people live because this is an ex uh, the, the, the uh, uh, factory or, um, or the uh, especially what uh, we talk about the firecracker factory they have explosives in them the rules were not being followed 11 casualties 175 injuries people in uh, hospitals in Bhopal Indore uh, and also in Harda who will be uh, uh, who will be uh, raising these questions are the people uh, of the families who, uh, who have lost their love ones and who will be punished because uh, the both the owners of the factory are right now uh, not with the police they have been uh, uh, declared farrar especially and uh, they have uh, it has been said that their license were not uh, renewed and license were not available the factory was sealed a long time ago but still it uh, was opened uh, ignoring the rules and regulations now who will be punished is the biggest question in the harda case because everyone is just hoping that this fire, uh, um, uh, uh, the fire blast uh, is a very chaotic situation and everyone is asking the question that when will the people who are uh, responsible for this will be punished. BJP's Mission South to increase its electoral tally in 2024 seems to have several popular movie stars in the mix to generate the right amount of buzz ahead of elections. NDTV's Uma Sudhi decodes BJP's southern formula of reaching out for the stars. The BJP southern formula, reach out for the stars, you may land on a decent hill. That seems to be the party's electoral strategy for the south ahead of parliament elections in 2024. Tamar actor Vijay, popularly called Ilaya Kalapati or junior captain, is the latest star to announce his political party and says that he will make his electoral debut in the Tamil Nadu elections in 2026. He says he will give up his film career after his 69th film for a second innings in politics. Already, political opponents allege he is in the BJP camp. Critics point out that Vijay, who has a cult following, is banking on his fan base to turn into his party carder, but they don't have political experience. Besides, Vijay is a Christian and open friendship with the BJP in Tamil Nadu can prove counterproductive. The BJP had earlier hoped Rajnikanth could be their ticket into Tamil Nadu. 
but the superstar after several years of will he won't he finally announced in december 2020 that he is opting out of electoral politics though he continues to have a warm friendship with prime minister modi and others mega star chiranjeevi's family including his son ram charan were at ayodhya for the consecration of the ram idols and soon after the mega star was honored with a padma vibhushan but chiranjeevi has also bid goodbye to politics he had launched his own praja rajyam party in 2008 that subsequently merged into the congress besides whether he can once again rip up political capital in andhra pradesh is questionable his brother pavan kalyan's janasena is with the nda at the center but has joined hands with the telugu desam for the 2024 elections even though the bjp is apparently not keen to have chandra babu naidu's party in its camp after our leader announced the termination of alliance with bjp for lok sabha as well as for the forthcoming assembly now the desperate attempt of bjp is coming to the front bjp tried their luck with rajnikanth forced him to come into the politics but somehow he escaped but now the next bait is mr vijay in kerala during prime minister narendra modi's road show in thrissur actor suresh gopi was with him in the cavalcade Suresh Gopi is expected to be fielded from Thrissur in the Prime Minister's subsequent public meeting with women groups other stars like actress Shobhana were seen but locals say the crowds gathered more for the star appeal of the Prime Minister himself the BJP has not grown organically in the south and its leadership perhaps realizes that the communal template of the north may not work in the south of the country so it is hoping that the superstars with their popular appeal will be able to build the party's profile and gather votes while they also attract political talent from other parties to build their electoral heft in hyderabad with camera person nagraju uma sudhir ndtv